now i have written here draw a flow chart to find greatest among three numbers so we have to draw a flow chart that will give us greatest among three numbers if we have a b and c it will uh, detect whether a is greater than b as well as it is greater than c or b is greater than a as well as b is greater than c or c is greater than a as well as c is greater than b we are going to find which among three is greater okay so i will draw it first of all we will make start we have to read three numbers read a comma b comma c so i have made a, made here a read statement i have read three numbers then then what will i do i will compare first a with b so i will make a decision box here again so i will compare if a is greater than b if a is greater than b yes condition from here and no condition from here if a is greater than b then i have to compare a with c also so i will make again a decision box to compare a with c i will write if a is greater than c a is already greater than b now i will compare a with c if in both cases a is greater so i will write yes so here also a is greater here also a is greater then i will write print a is greater okay okay here it will be no also what will be what will be if this was what will be the uh, next uh, task if this condition was false i be this i mean to say this no this uh, this output is no this time if the output of this decision box is no i mean to say if a is not greater than b then b will be greater than a so here b will be greater then i have to compare b with c so i will make again a decision box to compare b with c as we know here that b is greater than a because this is no no means b is greater than a if yes it was a greater than b then it was yes now it is no that means a is not greater than b that means b is greater than a okay then we know that b is greater among a and b now we will compare b with c now if b is greater than c okay there will be two possibilities if either b is greater than c or c is greater than b okay so i will write two possibilities yes and no i have not uh, mentioned yes or no i will see where i will write yes or no because here also i have to check if a is greater than c here also i have to check if c is greater than a if it is no then c is greater than a because if yes then a was greater than c that we have already discussed here now i am going to check whether c is greater than a if c is greater then here it will be c this time this time it will be c greater here and this time we have to check whether b is greater than c i will try to make no from this side because if it is no then c will be greater out of b and c because i am writing no that means b is not greater than c i have written here b is greater than c i am writing no that means b is not greater than c so which is greater c is greater here also c is greater if i am proceeding through this no and proceeding through this no both in both cases print c is greater print c is greater i have written it here that is the reason i have written it i have written this no statement from here otherwise i can write no statement here but in that case in that case i have to write print c is greater this line i have to write again here and again here print c is greater here also print c is greater and what if b is greater than c so that was also written i will write yes then if it is yes then b is greater than c i will write print 
B is greater. Now, what is the reason I have written no statement of this of this decision box from this side? Because in this no this no statement represents C is greater, and here no statement represents C is greater. I have written C is greater. Instead of writing it twice, I have written it once. So, instead of writing if uh, if I will write no here, then I will write print C here. Print C is greater here, and this print B is greater here, and here again I have to write print C is greater. So print C is greater, and print C is greater. It it could be repeated. It should have been repeated two times. So instead of writing it two times, I have written it no here and no here, and once I have written it. only once here that is the reason i have written no statement from here and no statement from here instead of because instead of writing print c is greater twice i have written it once here it will get stopped if it was on this track it will also have to get stopped if it was on this track it will also get stopped these are different tracks this is the first track this is second track this and this is third track this okay now i will uh, do one thing i will try to compare these uh, a b and c suppose i will try to compare it practically suppose value of a is a b and c is suppose it is 8 5 3 okay assign this 8 here assign this 5 here and assign this 3 here now if a is greater than b whether a is greater than b A is greater than B. Yes, eight is greater than five, so it will proceed through. Yes, A is greater than C. If A is greater than C, A is eight. Is eight greater than three? Yes. Then we have to write A is greater. Then we have to write eight is greater. That is fine. Now, second case. What if it was eight three five? This was case first. now we have we are on case second what if it was 835 so if a is greater than b yes a is greater than b it is true it will go here and now a will be compared with c is a greater than c yes it is also true it is also fine it will go again and it will write a is greater okay it is second case third case so, Three eight. What if it was five three eight? Is a greater than b? Yes, because five is greater than three. Then is a greater than c? Is five greater than c? No. So it will go through this way. Then print c is greater. Yes, because b is already smaller to a. Now a is also smaller to c. Then c is greater. Then it will get stopped. similarly we will check all the cases now what if it was 3 5 8 okay first condition it will check 3 if a is greater than b is 3 greater than 5 it was no it will go through this way and it will check if b is greater than c no here not b is not greater than c it will Move through. Uh, it will go through this way, and it will write C is greater because C is already eight. C is greater, and it will get stopped. What if it was three eight five? This is the another case. First condition: it will check three is greater than eight. No, it will go through this. No, because three is not greater than A is not greater than B. Then B will be compared to C, but B is greater than C because eight is greater than five. It will go through. this way and it will write b is b is greater than b is greater and it will get stopped so these were the cases in this flow chart